Alright, today I'm going to get to test out a USB adapter for Wi-Fi on a laptop because this here compact, uh, what is it, Presario V6000 um, does not have a working Wi-Fi. So when I turn this on, I mean everything works on it aside from it missing the escape key, but again it works. Um, you know, yeah, a little Wi-Fi light there stays yellow. It does not go blue or green or change color in any way, so it will not detect any uh, Wi-Fi's in the area. Now, I don't have Wi-Fi on my modem. Um, I don't want it. It's been hacked before, so and with my home-based business, I prefer just to have everything wired, but still, there are some Wi-Fi um, networks in the area, but so far this computer cannot detect them because the internal Wi-Fi is... Uh, I guess DOA, dead on arrival, so to speak. So we'll test this one out and see how it works. All right, well, it comes with a driver disc. I don't think I'm going to need it to install this. It's usually plug and play, but I guess it's there in case we need it. So we'll plug it in right here next to the adapter plug. Yep, detected it. So now we'll see if the drivers install. Alright, it was not installed successfully, so I guess we're going to have to use uh, the disk drive, and uh, yeah, it's on this side here. There we go. So let's pop in the old disk, see if we can get it to check it out. Alright, disk is in. We'll see if it activates. Yep, here we go. Auto run. Okay, Windows, Mac, Linux, so yeah, this is compatible with a few different OS's. And I got the little shield down here, what is it saying? There we go. Okay, yes. There we go, Realtek Wireless LAN Software Install Shield. Okay. Install Shield will install Realtek USB Wireless LAN Driver and Utility for your computer. Kind of reading this off because camera is not doesn't seem to focus real well on what's being displayed on the screen so we'll wait for this to install looks like it's going to take a few minutes all right now it's finally moving took a couple minutes but looks like it's installing everything okay now installing Realtek USB wireless LAN driver. Okay, so now my internet has... the Wi-Fi is acti activated now. Not connected. Connections are available. Well, let's see what we got available. Yeah, we got Rock Hill Rocks and probably somebody's Aris C2A2 signal. Fair strength. I don't know if I can connect to it. We'll try because it doesn't look like it's secure. Well, wants a security key, which I don't have. So, well, cool. Let me go back to the other one, Rock Hill Rocks, because I know that's a public network. Information sent over this network might be visible to others, so let's connect. See if it can pick it up, because I'm like on the outer range of that setup, so. 
Still got that on the screen. I don't know why, because it looks like everything's installed, but it didn't do. Let's just see if we can uh, connect. Yeah, the connection was unsuccessful. Oh well. That's fine. At least it's detecting it, because before I could not get anything. So now, let's see, it's wanting to restart. So yeah, let's go ahead and do a restart to finish the install. Yeah, and as I was saying, this is the Wi-Fi on, off, light doesn't change, just does not work. So instead of spending money, if it can even be fixed, you know, this actually costs six, between six and seven dollars. So my opinion, <laughs> you know, yeah, it's going to tie up a USB port because there's only a couple of them on this one, on this type of laptop. I'm like, you know, to me that's not a big deal. You can always get a one of those USB adapters where it's got you know one connection and can ha handle like up to four USB plugs at once and stuff so not a big deal let's boot back up any day now so anyway this is quick review 300 megabits per second, 2.4 gigahertz signal, oh, that's loud, USB 2.0, and the IEEE, which is 802.11B slash G slash N. So, there you go. It's a generic brand, um, obviously. Wireless N, I guess, is the name, but had a lot of good reviews. Uh, got this on eBay. For those that are interested, so yeah, check around eBay for uh, for this. And uh, yeah, it looks like everything is good. Um, the Wi-Fi again, it's picking up. Yep, there's another one, Howie's Net. So yep, it is working. So yeah, I just can't seem to. Uh, like I said, I'm on the outer reach of this one, which is unsecure. Um, I'll try it one more time. Because this one's in downtown, and I'm just like a mile from downtown. So we shall see. Check switch USB. I don't know what that is. Probably the Wi-Fi. But it's still circling. Just curious to see if it can actually connect, because it is a signal. Well, nope connection was unsuccessful so if I was closer I know I'd be able to you know tap into it but anyway there you go a uh, quick test of a, a Wi-Fi USB 2.0 uh, adapter for you know if your Wi-Fi goes out on your laptop or it could be used on a desktop which I've used other models on my desktop in uh, Mexico for example so um, yep yeah, saves you instead of taking it to a computer shop to fix the internal Wi-Fi if it can even be fixed so that'll save you a crap load of money like I said you know six seven dollars for this thing so uh, for those interested so anyway hope that helps you out and thanks for watching